All right, y'all, let's get right to it. The North Father is here in the wee hours. About six years ago, young Alyssa Michelle Steffens, who went by the name of Miss Mulatto, whose name has since changed to plain old Lotto because Mulatto represented mixed race relations or mixed race color mixed race person this young girl was on Jermaine Dupree's The Next Rap Star and she made a splash out of it okay if you look at this young lady now <clears throat> she has dangerously erupted into a bona fide rap slash pop star. She can give it to you with the rap. She can give it to you with the pop. She's just plain old popping. Mulatto is not a young superstar to be messed with at all. I swear on it. At all. If anybody says something about it, has something to say about it, leave it in the comment below. You want to go up against this young lady here? I mean, she is the real deal. Okay. Now, here comes Nicki Minaj now. Big bad boss mama. She had a little beefs. Cardi B. One. And many others. She has a problem with... Lotto. And it's becoming a big problem. If Super Freaky Girl is a pop song, what song is Big Energy? So, so I'm going to say it again because I know people like to twist my words. If Super Freaky Girl is pop, then so is Big Energy. Okay, now. Don't worry, that sparked a super feud between Nicki, Nicki Minaj, who has been on the scene for years and years, and the new rising star, Lotto. Now, this wig is very interesting, that, because I want to ask one question. Is Nicki Minaj really prepared for this beef? Mad Shade has been passed between the two with Lotto calling her super freaky grandma. Then you got Nikki calling Lotto a Karen. I mean, this is really going to get hot right here. One of the biggest cat fights of all times. Because if Lotto, all right, if she's a Karen, I would say if she is a Karen, she's the like the Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines type Karen. Yo, this girl is the real deal. And 99.999% of her being the real deal is her good looks, her body. She's like a new and improved Beyonce. One number. Beyonce, Beyonce, watch out, girl. Watch out. Because this girl's coming for everybody's throne. Young, built, beautiful, and got some swag in a little rap slash pop style of singing and or rapping. Lotto even has some choice words for Nicki Minaj's husband. She got on the husband, Kenneth Petty, who was convicted of first-degree rape and had words for her brother, Jelani Mirage, who was convicted of predatory first-degree rape against a child or some, of that, something of that nature. To which Nicki responded, she responds, she responds that 
Lotto didn't care about rape when she was begging for features. So Lotto allegedly was asking Nikki to appear on her songs, which Nikki declined, probably ins insultingly, I don't know, allegedly. And Nikki also said it's very dangerous to weaponize rape. Hoo-wee. This is the North Father here. Best believe this has become a hot topic to me. And I wanted to do other stuff, but I might have to, like, hold off on a few things. I'm still going to get to it, but this one right here. Hoo -hoo -wee. This is a mega one right here. The young rising star Lotto is definitely for real. And I haven't even gotten to the phone conversation that they had on the phone yet. But we're going to get back to that. Most definitely. This is the Nod father here. These two mega females right here are definitely, definitely filling the minds of the hip-hop, R&B, and pop world. And this mountain here is only room for one. And we're about to find out which one that will be. But I'm going to tell y'all something. This young lotto girl has hit the lottery with her style and her looks and her pizzazz. Nikki knows all about that. She had her days too. But this one right here is going to be a mega one. I'm out. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.